These guys like to skate. They're friends of Al Chapo. Hey. And they'll bite the shit out of you. So you gotta be very careful. You see? They'll bite the hell out of you real quick. But this place here, the way I'm gonna design it, it's gonna be a private zoo. It's gonna be an education program here, all coming from next door, where there'll be uh, interaction with the animals. The students will be coming from junior high school, elementary schools, to interact, learn, and respect. That's the bottom line. Respect the animals, that you're gonna understand that they're here for a purpose. And also enjoy it. This is, you know, uh, some of these animals, you won't see them. Some zoos don't have them, you know what I mean? Only major zoos will have them. And then you have your guys with the big cats, you know what I mean? Everybody's got their own thing. You know what I mean, I, 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 don't, uh, I don't knock anybody. I respect everyone, you know what I mean? I want to learn from them because I'm a kid from Brooklyn. I'm not a kid from the, the, the farm. I'm not a kid from the, the zoo, you know what I mean? This is nothing I had when I was growing up. This is something I always wanted to have. And I'm blessed to have it now. And I'm still building on this. Hey. Come here, Jack. Hey. I'd have to get a carrot. Hey. But we're still expanding. We're still growing here. Uh, we're still building. And we're still learning. That's the whole key to this, is learning how you keep on going with this. Because again, the hell, I, I've taken on a, a, a challenge that most people will never do in their life. They will not even think of getting involved in building a zoo. Are you nuts? You know, you have to have employees, you have to learn. Uh, there's a lot of uh, hit and miss on these things. And then there's different type of species here. So you have to learn these species, how to deworm them, how to keep up with them. I'm lucky that I have other people that teach me a lot, you know what I mean? And they have the animals, hey, what do you do with that? How'd you do this, you know what I mean? And they're, they're, they're the ones that help me too. Uh, it's good to buy something. Yeah, good, you buy it. It's like buying a giraffe. I wanted to get a, a set of giraffes here, which I still could do it, but there's a lot more involved with it. You know, you gotta build an enclosure for them and the enclosure has to be 25 feet up and then you have to heat it. So I said, you know what? Maybe in the future, you know what I mean? Financially, it doesn't pay right now. Where's these guys? These guys might be sleeping. Hey. These are your basic uh, porcupines that love to dig. When we built this enclosure, we had to enclose it all, but then if you look straight down, there's wire on the floor. <laughs> we put wire down two feet down for them not to escape. They're friends of our chapel. Hey. And they'll bite the shit out of you. So you gotta be very careful. You see? They'll bite the hell out of you real quick. So you have to be very, very careful. The female is there is an albino. And she's they got their food, so. Once these animals are fed, don't, you know, you have to let them rest. Hello! Hey! They're starting to show off a little bit. Hey! Hello! Hey! What you doing? Hey! See, again, you build these cages where they have the insulation on the top for the heat. And then they have it open. Now when it starts to rain, the sun, that's why their color is so beautiful too, on the body of the animal. They get sunlight. We still got quite a few sections to build, but I'm not in no race. I'm not in no rush. What I want to do is learn the animals, you see like these guys here, and then build the enclosure for them. And you got to think of the, the rainy day, the cold day, you know, these guys in the heat. Cuban iguanas, box turtles, redfoots, yellowfoots, uh, Russian tortoises. You know, these guys grow really quick. So we had to build another section for them. And then later on, they get so big, they have to go out to the field. These are another guys that like to dig. The cicadas. They love to dig. <laughs> The minute they can dig, they start digging and they escape. So now we're still doing the construction on the side. We still got to paint this stuff. See the concrete underneath it? We got to pour concrete underneath all this stuff that they don't escape and get out. Because once they go, even though they're turtles, they're tortoises rather, 
they leave, you're, you're gonna have a hard time, you know, for them to, fi to find them. See, a lot of people have tortoises and stuff and they have these guys, right? That's the males already fighting. Um, they buy these things small and they think that they're beautiful. They are beautiful, it's like a baby. Everything is beautiful when they're small. Once they start getting bigger and bigger and they're bigger than the tank and they're bigger than your house or your room or your apartment, they gotta go. And then once you start feeding these things, you know, we're up to a couple of thousand a week on just food for these animals, you know. So just feeding them, there's cases and cases of lettuce, tomatoes, carrots, whatever their diet is. You know, you got to feed them their diet. You're going to spend good money. This is a good, you know, beginning of a lot of uh, expenses to it. But the rewards are later on because some of them are different, uh, actually uh, exotics that you must have them in an enclosure, you might have to have them in, in different square footage, like the kangaroos. They have to be a big enclosure for them to move around and hop. You can't have that in your backyard, um, unless you got a backyard like this. Mm -hmm.